Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. It is day 27 of 75 for EDSS here in the Realm Reborn, and yesterday we had the opportunity to start taking on challenges here in the East Shroud, where we are advancing the plot in order to help out the Hawthorne family, as well as a number of other people who are located here, in their quest to bring a greater understanding with the Sylphs, a race of um, creatures that are part plant and also anthropomorphic as well, and they can also fly. So they're basically like fairies, as, in a way. But w before we take on the continuation of the quests that are plot-based, we're going to finish off the remaining optional quests here at the Hawthorne Hut, as well as hopefully trying to finally clear the Lance of Destiny challenge while we're here as well. So... Let me check to see what we have left. Okay, so this is a levy quest, um, but I'm more interested in this one, level 20 challenge and call, titled Swinophobia. Um, no interest in the fate. I'm only interested in dealing with some Swinophobia. If I can find the person that I require, should be around here somewhere, hopefully. Because it's not the, cho the chocobo keep. Uh, why does why do there have to be so many? Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things. Uh, where is this person I'm looking for? Oh, I think I know where they are. I think I know where they are. They are in the Jocelyn Spire, I believe. Now let's go over there, and hopefully we'll have the correct locale. So, what I have to do is. Start making our sense to the Jocelyn Spire. I might take on the um, the challenge there, the fate, um, but right now I'm more focused on wanting to deal with the plot, with the optional quests. That's the greater priority to me right now. Um, not in here. What the? Oh, come on, really? Where are you? Here you are. Pirano, you, milady, or sir, or whatever you are, because I can't tell because of the mask you're wearing, you are very hard to find. So let's take on your level 20 challenge entitled Swinophobia. Pirano, a sentry at Jocelyn Spire, will delegate some of his duties to an eager adventurer. Okay, so this is male. Those frightful snouts, tusks like unto spears, and the squealing... The dreadful squealing of death him that haunts my dreams each night. Why, oh why did I ever leave to come here? Um, hail adventurer, your sharp-eyed man tells me you're keen to prove yourself, and to your good fortune, I've a uh, menial task ideal for one to your fair, fair to middling abilities. Wild boars blag the bramble patch, and it's about time that someone called the herd. Well, hop to it now. Alright, so, yeah, we gotta go and kill five of them. We gotta go kill five of them to help out this poor soul. That hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Fortunately, though, we will recover health quickly. And you know what? Since it's right here anyway, let's just go ahead and get involved if we can. But I fear I may be too late because... Yeah, there's already a lot of action going on here, but we're finally getting in on some of it. Oh, come on, strike him. Strike him, please. Oh, target's not in range. Oh, curse you. Yeah, I'd like to get in on the fate, if at all possible. Because, yeah, if you're fortunate enough to get a whole gaggle of allies like this, be grateful. Be very grateful. Yes, yeah, it looks like we're all going after um, more of them. Okay, well, here's some wild boars. Oh, no, these are mine. These are what what I'm doing. Now, where, where the heck have you guys led me to? Oh, over here. Okay. I see where this goes. I see how this works. Here, I want you all to myself. I want you all to myself to at least say I had some sort of contribution to this fate. Now, do away with you swiftly, along with my allies. I was wondering, where the heck are we going? Because, yeah, it felt really weird how it was setting itself up. And, yeah, 
with a lot of enemies on screen, it can really slow things down on screen in a hurry. Oh, tell me I'm around so- Oh, 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 I am low on HP, I am low on HP, I am low on HP, I need to run. Low on HP and I need to run. Ugh. Yeah, get myself out of battle, out of disaster. Cause yeah, that could have ended quite horrendously. Hi Bat, thankfully you're tame. But, oh man. That could have gone all sorts of horribly wrong. Let's keep following these guys, now that our health is a little higher. Yeah, I didn't realize I was almost getting myself killed. And for what? Um, do you know, you guys know where you're going? Oh, we're, we're, we're accompanying this guy, okay. I see, I see what we're doing. I get it, alright. Alright, you're out of the way. That's taken care of. So now... Back south, in order to start slaying wild boars. Yeah, if the opportunity presents itself, take it. But more often than not, if it's against a really big opponent, and you're all alone, don't try it. Alright. So, so far, that second boar is not coming near me, and I have no problem with that at all, because it means that I don't have to worry as much. Alright, now for your friend. Yeah, and for those of you who watch my videos, I get it. I know that I say alright a lot. Especially it seems like a lot, especially these days. Um, don't know why that is. I just am speaking instinctively out of my mouth. And when I'm talking, um, which I usually do not do all that often to begin with. You know, I usually save my talking for when I'm in front of people or when I'm doing these YouTube videos. But yeah, I, I say alright a lot these days. I, I, I guess it's just ingrained into me now to say it a lot. Because I'm just so focused on wanting to make sure that I get through every single challenge and complete all the quests that are available to me. So yeah, I guess I'm like a freaking broken record. <laughs> and I, I don't know if I can stop myself from being one. But yeah, that's just what I've gotten stuck into saying over the time I've done this um, Realm Reborn LP as well as my Eternal Sonata LP. Alright, you're down. I want to start finding at one more. There'll be one over here where this dot is. Come to Papa, wild boar, and I shall make pork chops out of you. Pork chops, bacon, ham. Yeah, what about bacon? No, ham. No, pork chops. Dad, those all come from the same animal. Oh, sure, Lisa. A wonderful, magical animal. <laughs> yeah, who remembers all the way back to that Simpsons episode where Lisa first realizes that she would be better off as a vegetarian? And even goes so far as to sabotage Homer's neighborhood barbecue by taking the suckling pig, driving it off a ramp, and sending it launching high into the sky. Who out there remembers that episode? Because that was like, I think it was like an, from 1995 that episode originated. So yeah, it's, it's been a while. And I, the, I remember it's because she starts to realize that she'd be better off as a vegetarian because um, earlier that day in that particular episode, she is, and the family go to a petting zoo and they see a whole bunch of lambs there and they end up having lamb for dinner and it starts to really bother Lisa. So that's how I remember that episode. De definitely one of the more emotional ones and definitely one of the ones I remember the most vividly. <laughs> you know, it's Suckling Pig and Homer and Bart chase after it and the suckling pig ends up going through all these various things, and Homer's trying to convince himself, It's still good! It's still good! Until, of course, it gets launched away. 
And then, of course, Mr. Burns <laughs> makes a sarcastic remark, which actually ends up coming back to haunt him. So, anyway, speak with Pio Noel. Please, you have my vow. I shall wear bull skin armor no more. I will stall before I partake in the tiniest morsel of salted pork. Just make them go away! What? what The swine plague of the bramble patch no more? Oh, thank you, friend. To speak the truth of it, I've been plagued by a dreadful phobia of those tusk monstrosities in recent weeks. But I realize this will not do. Jocelyn's spy overlooks the hub of trade and military activity, and to shirk my duties will be a dishonor to the hero whose name the spire bears. You've instilled no small measure of courage in me today, friend, and for this I am grateful. And for that, 4,060 experience points, 3 high potions, and he even has another one for us. Level 20 challenge entitled Stand in Sentry. Pionol needs capable adventurers to patrol the Gridanian frontier. You look to be made of sterner stuff than the average adventurer. How would you fancy doing your bit to preserve the peace? We patrol the area night and day, but a recent skirmish put a dozen of my best men in the infirmary, and were sorely short-handed as a result. I'd be grateful if you could help me fill in for the wounded. Now there are three strategic positions on a patrol route, each marked by a twin out of standard. What you need to do is go to the three locations in turn and hold your ground for a while. Nothing to it, see? Well, it'll be nothing to it if it doesn't take long. Because that's the thing. How long will this challenge actually last? That is the question to which I must have an answer to. Oh, well, here's the first Twin Adder standard right here. So, go ahead and double click on it. Stay and watch. Which means, of course, it's taking my sweet time. Um, what I'm waiting, one over to the west. And... Oh, what the? Where is it? Over here! Okay, it's over here. Yeah, it's behind you! Yeah, I'm buying my sweet time, checking the map, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, BOOM! Battle engages! And behind you. Yes, I shall smite thee quite swiftly. <laughs> okay, you're down. Okay, where is number... Th where is the third one? I don't see a third location for... Okay, down there. Southwest. Alright. Uh, I said it again. I know. So, down here, to the west and southwest. So, I'm trying to find the Twin Adder Standard right over here, but it uh, looks like I'll have to fight off some feral opponents to get to it. So, let's not have them come to me, let's have me go to them. And since I'm grossly overleveled, these things will be a pushover. And you're dead. Moving on. Right. Twin out of standard. Stay and watch at it. Watch the northern vulture flap its wings. Yeah, it was a little more panicked, but now it's so calmed down. However, one of its brethren has launched an attack. I shall smite thee. I shall smite me thee decisively. I will bring you down, and make you suffer in pain and misery. I will clip your wings, and have them with barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd go that far, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm comparing vulture wings to chicken wings. That's not all that intelligent. I don't know if vulture meat is edible, for that matter. But hey, if, if anyone has ever tried it, comment and tell me. <laughs> that would be qu quite hilarious to hear if someone actually has done that. Alright, so third Twin Adder Standard. Yeah, because, yeah, why have the vultures eat you when you can eat the vultures? <laughs> and we're rounding things out with a lemur. Yeah, I see you. Okay, King Julian. Let me show you what happens when you disrespect people and not expect things to um, ever go wrong as a result because it always seems that they do especially on the penguins of Madagascar they always go wrong for you all right you're out of the way now then back over to Pionno 
and we'll make our way back up to Jocelyn Spire. Wow, we're at 15 minutes already? Wow! Time, time sure flies when you're helping out others. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to the main bulk of this why I came here to begin with. Yeah, and this is the only other option left, so... Good to see you back in one piece. Is the ultra pulse? A run-in with fell fiends, you say? That is passing on. We've never had trouble with the local fauna on this patrol route in the past. Hmm, mayhap their numbers are on the rise? We must keep a close eye on things. Anyway, my thanks for your help, friend. And so... 4,060 experience points, plus a choice of meat. I will... Take the antelope steak. Alright, he has nothing further. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next... Since I am here anyway... Let's just drop down. Don't mind taking the damage. Now, where is the hut? I don't... Now, yeah, come on, eyes. Don't start playing tricks on me now. Yeah, so we're going to take Rolf's challenge, but we're only going to go to Little Solace for the purposes of getting weapons and armor, so we're going to get, take this care of this challenge, but then I'm going to go over to where the boar tusks are for the Lance of Destiny challenge, so let's speak with Rolf here. Take on his level 21 challenge entitled First Contact. Rolf Hawthorne has gift wrap your offering in preparation for your journey into the Sylph's Domain. I've taken the liberty of wrapping your milk root well and good. This should keep it nice and fresh, not to mention spare you from that god's awful stench. <laughs> Thank you. So, accept the gift. The sylphs loves the stuff, but, bear, but me, I'd rather bury my nose in chocobo dung. <laughs> Did you really have to go that far? I dare say the reek even rivals the breath of the morble that put an end to my adventuring days. But I can tell you that story another time. You have more important matters to attend to today, yes? The Sylphs are an eccentric bunch, but I've shared their company enough to know they're kind at heart. They'll not shun one whose intentions are true. May your parlay be a fruitful one, friend, and do stop by on your return. There's a flag and a full flower mead with your name on it if you'd regale me with your adventuring tales. I believe I can accommodate you. Oh, and not for I forget, don't go tra traipsing off just yet. Ameline here would have a word with you. Travel in safety, friend, and do not pass along my and do pass along my regards to the winged ones. Yeah, do not. That makes no sense. Ah, uh, reading text wrong. Amalan. Uh, no. I want to speak with Amalan if I could possibly do so. It's good to see your knowledge of sulfur culture has matured. I see no reason to delay your mission any further. Upon your arrival at Little Solace, seek out a young sylph by the name of Kumikso. He has served as an intermediary between our peoples on many an occasion, and has the close ear of his tribe's elder. I see that Hawthorne has furnished you with some of that malodorous fruit, the sylph saw door. I have something of far greater import for you to deliver, a missive from the elder Seedseer herself. To summarize the letter's contents in brief, it vouches for the integrity of our envoy, that would be you, and reinstates Gridania's desire to maintain a harmonious relationship with our long-standing friends of the forest. The war with the Exol has taken a toll on our resources. We can ill afford to get mired in another conflict. I need not impress you upon any further the importance of this mission. May the Twelve see you return with good tidings. Right. And so now, off to... A short little trip to Little Solace. We don't need to worry about the merchant and mender there because the merchant does not sell um, weapons and armor that are high enough levels. So to get that stuff, I do believe I will have to go to Little Solace in order to accomplish this. So we shall run down the path following the arrow icon, pointing me to where it needs to go. And once I get to Comixio, though, I will need to take a time out because I need to take care of something. So once I get there, we'll temporarily bring things to a halt, but then we will pick up right where we left off. So, yeah, it says here, Encampment Clothier, and hopefully this person has some items that I could definitely use. So here's Comixio and Laxio, and they are part of the self race. So I'll be right back, and we will continue this in just a moment.
Okay, so, made it over here to, of course, some um, little solace. Um, I did get an enhanced spear from the clothier and tailor. Um, yeah, he does sell weapons too. Um, so now, we can go over here to Kamuxio and speak with her. Or him. Walking one is not familiar to this one. This one does not trust strange walking ones. Strange dancing ones might be a different story, but this one expects no such thing. Walking one should go home and leave this one be. And so now, with your icon still targeting her, we want to emote and dance for her. Um, not the harvest dance, just the regular dance. So, go ahead and do what you need to do there, ED. This one would welcome walking one who moves like these ones. If walking one would talk to this one, this one will answer. This one is a busy one, so walking one should speak with quick tongue. So now, we give her the milk root. Walking one would bring gift to this one? Walking one is most kind. So here is the milk root, as well as a letter to the elder. Walking one brings milk root! Milk root fills this one with great joy! This, this one gives thanks, gives many, many thanks! And as for the letter, let's see how they react to it. Walking one carries message for Elder One? This one will deliver the message to Elder One. Walking one should not worry. Oh, Ida, Papalimo, what are you two doing here? Hello there, we're on voice from Gridania and we're here to treat with your people. Aye, we've come to pay our respects to your elder, and to learn from him more of your Lord Ramu. Who are these ones? These walking ones come from Gridania? Walking one become a dancing one and brought no food, but walking one tricks this one. This one does not like tricks! Uh, yeah, cause silly rabbit tricks are for kids. This one will speak no more. Elder one is busy. Walking ones should go home! Go home, you say? But the self some little sons of all is welcome with Donny and Envoys with open wings. The letter carried here by Edie is an oath of peace penned by the elder seed here herself. Still you would refuse us? This one's reasons are no business of walking ones. Elder one has no words for Gridania. Walking ones waste everyone's time. Well, I never turned away at the gates. Whatever did we do to deserve such a rude welcome? Was Edie's jig insufficiently jiggy? <laughs> I don't know about that, Ida. I'm as baffled as you, but something tells me recent events have our erstwhile fluttery friends feeling uncommonly wary. It would seem we've no choice but to ask around and see how we might earn their trust. Just dance like I did. So, the challenge is completed. And we get our options. Um, weak silencing, sleeping, or paralyzing potion. Um... To be honest, I really don't know what you want to want. Especially not the silencing potion. It only lasts for th one second. That, that's just completely worthless. Completely worthless. So yeah, that challenge is now done. Where's... Okay, where's the next plot-based quest? Oh... Uh, Oh, Ida and Papalimo, okay. Well, we can take care of that another time. For now, since I have an enhanced weapon, let's see if we cannot use it in the Bramble Patch to complete the Lance of Destiny challenge. Because, yeah, I would like to get that out of the way and done with. Try and avoid the wild boars, but they're coming at me as I'm running out of my sprint. Yeah, just follow me around the stone, by all means, please. Here, you want to take him? Yeah, that, that's kind of silly. So now, beeline for the boar tusks. Yeah, we started this challenge a few days ago, it didn't pan out. Hopefully this time, we will be able to get a much different story. So, waiting by the bloody boar tusks. And we'll get the challenge underway. 
Hopefully things work out in my favor this time. So since we've already seen this cutscene, we shall proceed to simply skip it. Alright Falquez, whenever you're ready. Alright, so this time I want to see if I can get the um, Kampua to focus on me. Oh, come on, over here. I want you to focus on me, man. Ooh, took damage there from the Reckless Charge. Oh, well, let's start attacking you. Just to get you out of the way, because, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get things to quite go the way I'd intended them to. But if we can get rid of one of these hogs, that will be making life much easier, but... Come on. If I can get rid of a couple of you, it'll make my life easier. Um, can I attack what I want to attack, please? Yeah, it's not yet ready because you're not allowing me to do it. Ugh. So annoying, and I'm in trouble. Well, it looks like I got what I wanted. I got what I wanted him to do. I got him to focus his attention on me, but now I soon could be paying the price as a result. And that is not what I wanted to necessarily have happen, especially as the water sprites and the wind sprites start coming around. Ah. Uh, really? Come on. Well, at least I'm doing good dodging of my opponent's attacks. But man, oh man. This is where things get dicey now. Thankfully, Fulkez has my back. Don't know why he would want to heal me, but... I'll take it. Oh, come on. I should point out, you don't have to win the battle. You just have to wear him down enough. Of course, keeping yourself alive, that also helps. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I think I'm about to die. And I can't even target on the guy I want to target on. Like, seriously. Anyway, I've lost. Yeah, they just come in too fast. Yeah, because you have to take the attention off of Falquez, and in addition to that, you also have to um, take out as many of the fiends as you can to try and help your cause a little. So, anyway, let's try this again. Now, I didn't die, it was Falquez who got killed again. But yeah, I really need to make a point more often to <clears throat> take the pressure off of Falquez. Alright, take three. Alright, this time I will make it a point to target the underlings before starting to focus on Kampua. Alright, go. Let's see if I can actually make things work out in my favor this time. Alright, you're gone. Now it's your turn. Step out of the way. Alright, you're dead. Now I want your friends. I'm not even gonna let you get the honor of targeting Falquez. I'd rather you be done away with promptly. Alright, you're dead. And I took damage from Reckless Charge anyway. And I am targeting the wrong person. Hit the stupid hog. Hit the hog. And I want him gone. Because he needs to be eliminated from my survival to be insured. Alright, Kampu, and now it's just you and me and Falquez for time. 
Well, so far, he hasn't summoned the sprites yet. But he has now. Alright, so... Ugh. Yeah, this could get really disastrous. If I don't have Falquez helping me out, this could be world trouble. However, these sprites are getting killed off fast. These sprites are getting killed off fast, and that's working out well. Alright, now you. Gotta get you gone, right away. Oh, and that's it. Okay, I guess my focus was directed towards the wrong enemies. I had to take out the underlings for, rather than focus on Kamapua. Because what happens when you take on Kamapua head-on? Well... Yeah, he knocks Falquez back, and his lance gets planted right in the ground. So as Kamapua attempts to go for the kill... Yeah, think you can get up, Falquez? Yeah, because you've got death staring you in the face. I have your back. <laughs> I'm wanting to defend... I'm wanting to protect you. I don't know why. You shan't find much sport in these two. Yeah, you're not reading that wrong. That's Guildmaster Wayne coming in. Come back another day, my friend. Now, yeah, will he, though? Or is he just going to go on? Nope, he's going to walk away. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Ewain actually tamed him. Well done, Needy. You have completed the trial. I trust you now see the truth of my words. Hurling yourself into the midst of danger is not courage. It is folly. No, this proves nothing. I refuse. I refuse to accept. Yeah, what's wrong? Can't you handle the truth there, Falquez? YOU CAN'T HANDLE THE TRUTH! <gasps> yeah, now he's scared. He's actually scared of getting lost to Wayne. You refuse to accept the weakness within you. Yeah, he's out of here. Can't be made to listen to reason. No, Edie, leave him be. Your work here is done. Return to the guild and I shall see, the, she, see you there presently. So yeah, that challenge is now done. So our level 20 challenge is taken care of. Yeah, I can't believe I had that all wrong. That you had to fight off Kamapua's allies, not Kamapua himself. But who knows, maybe I still have it wrong. In any event, let's go back to New Gridania to therefore teleport ourselves back to Old Gridania and make our way to the Lancers Guild and accept the reward from Guildmaster Wayne. Yeah, a little bit of haunting forest music from the East Shroud, but it's definitely good music. In fact, I don't think there's a bad song in here that I've heard to this point here in Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. And so far I have to say I like all the music I've heard to this point. Alright, so, back in Gridania, let's make our way directly to the Lancers Guild. Not even gonna waste any time, we're just gonna go right on in. And have a wor few words with the Guildmaster. So we'll see what he has to say on... I, I don't know if he would necessarily call it a victory because the battle ended abruptly as soon as I um, eliminated all the allies of Kamapua. Alright, Guildmaster. I will not lie to you. You are no match for the Lord of the Bramble Patch. Had you betrayed any hint of fear, he would have gored you in the space of a moment and feasted on your entrails. <laughs> Yummy. But you stood your ground, hold fighting fast to your composure and resolve. Thus you were able to stare terror in the face and survive unscathed. Well done, Edie. You have overcome the greatest hurdle in the quest to become master of your own courage. 
you may now bring to bear the full extent of your abilities upon even the mightiest of foes. As for Falquez, well, if there is a shred of reason left in him, he will have learned the self-same lesson as you have on this day. Painful though the experience must have surely been, one can only hope that it will serve to open his eyes to the truth. Go forth, Edie, and prepare yourself for further trials. I look forward to our next meeting. And so we complete the challenge. We get the level 20 lance that I just purchased. <laughs> yeah, amazing how that works. I already have the goatskin jacket. And an iron cell... Do I have... Yeah, I think I do. Um, it's going arm guards or leg guards. Or 500 gil. Well, since I put nearly a thousand gil into the lance, I believe a little monetary compensation is in order. So I'll take the money. And so we'll take on his next challenge for, from Guildmaster Wayne at level 25. But that will bring today to a close because... Yeah, we've started to make a move in Little Solace, and we have completed Gilmaster Wayne's level 20 challenge. So, yeah, all is well, I have to say. So, I guess at this point in time, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, Around We Born. And when I join you again, we will go back to Little Solace and resume our quest to try and make peace with the Sylphs. So until next time, everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.